Hello, many people have commented that they like a uh, tutorial about this amplifier and I'm going to show you how to do it. We'll begin by explaining how to connect this integrated circuit. As you can see, it has a little shape here that shows you how to number the pins. This side will have to be at the left so that this pin is number one, this two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's start to explain how to connect the pin number two of this of this integrated circuit. I used an electrolytic capacitor for the one of one microfarads and one ceramic that has 103 for the 0.01 microfarad. So, here is the pin number 2, it has the electrolytic capacitor of 1 microfarad with the negative part towards the pin and the positive part will let it free so that we can later connect the input. Also, this very pin will have to connect another capacitor that it's a ceramic one so it doesn't have polarization to the ground. Here you can see how the second pin is connected to the two capacitors. One is the ceramic one and the other is the electrolytic one that has the negative part towards the pin and the positive part it's for the input. I chose one of these two lines for it to be the negative one so that everything that is connected to here is connected to the ground. The third pin is connected directly to the ground so as the fourth pin. As you can see in my circuit this uh, the third and the fourth that are this and this, they are both connected to the line that I put as ground. The fifth pin is connected to a electrolytic capacitor of 220 microfarads and the negative part of the electrolytic capacitor is connected to a potentiometer that is connected also to the ground and the variable side will be connected to the output. As we can see here in the fifth pin is an electrolytic capacitor that is this one that has the positive side towards the integrated circuit and the negative part towards the potentiometer. Now we're gonna label our, our potentiometer from one first pin, second pin, and third pin, this side up. So to connect the potentiometer, we have labeled the pins one through three, and the first one is connected to the ground. The second one is the output, so we're gonna let it let it free by now, and the third one is the one that is connected to our negative part of the capacitor and this is the fifth pin of the integrated circuit. Okay, so we have the first one of the potentiometer connected to the ground, that is the same line I have here for all the grounds. The second one, that is the red one here, connected to the output or we'll later connect it and the third one is going to be the one that is connected to the capacitor as you can see here this side they are both connected together so the sixth pin is connected to the 9 volts and also is connected to a capacitor that is 100 microfarads and to the ground. 
This is the polarity of this capacitor. So, here we can see the sixth pin is connected to this capacitor right here and to its positive side and the negative side is connected to this line. So, as you can see, this is the sixth pin, this is the five, the fifth, and this is the sixth is connected to nine volts that I put this line to be the positive side and this line to be the negative. So this line is getting nine volts and also is connected to a capacitor. So we'll leave the seventh pin of the integrated in the air, we don't have to connect it for it is bypass and the eighth pin is connected to the first pin with a potentiometer as you can see here that it's um, variable resistance is the potentiometer that is connected to the first and the eighth pin as you can see the first pin of the potentiometer is connected to the eighth pin of the circuit and the third it's connected to the first one. Here it's very important to connect the first pin to the second pin. You can see how I connect them like so. Next I'll show you how to connect the input. I had this jack and I connected the positive side of the jack to the capacitor of the second pin and the ground of the jack to the ground of my circuit. In order to know which side of the jack is the positive and which is the negative, you'll have to look through the jack and see what part of the jack is connected all the way to this part. That will be the negative one. As you can see, this is the white wire. That is a metallic plate that goes all the way through the bottom. To know which part of the jack is the positive one, you'll have to look again through the jack and see which is the part connected to the end. I have a jack here. I'm now going to connect it. And as you can see, part that is touching the tip, it's the one that is attached to the green. The output is the second pin of the potentiometer, that is this one, the red wire, is connected to the positive side of the output, and it's the same thing as the input jack. You have to look at the jack and see, we have to look at which is the part that is connected to the core that is this one in my case and which is the one that is connected to the tip connect the switch, we have to connect the negative side of the input source to the ground and the positive side of the, the input source to one end of the switch and the other end of the switch will connect it to the line that will supply all our circuit, this, this line. I'll show you how to connect the LED. The, I used a 1K resistance and it's connected from the positive part of the table. Then if you remember it's connected to the switch. This is the same line and the other part of the resistance is connected to the positive part side of the LED. You can see that the LED has two pins and one is of a little thing here and the other one has like a little flag. This flag represents the negative side of the LED and the other one the positive. So the resistance is connected to the positive side 
of the LED and the negative part of the LED is connected directly to the negative side of my, my plate. I'll show you how my circuit works. It is already connected the 9 volt battery and I'm gonna turn the switch on. As you can see the LED is turned on. And I used this speaker. This is the input that is connected to my guitar. These are the two potentiometers. This is the switch, the LED, and the output that is connected to my speaker. So let's give it a try. Change the um, configuration here so we can make it a little bit more clear. We can change it so we have a lot of gain. 